Hey guys! Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today, we will continue extending the app function in our last workshop. Before I share the extending function with you. Let's recap what we did in the last workshop. In the last workshop, we're creating an app that stores the office address. We have a location name, address, and distance away. To calculate the distance, we need a lot long column. In the last workshop, we also cover how to convert the address to lat long by the script in the Google Sheet. Other than this, we also create an action, which enables us to jump to our current location in the map view. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest that you may click on the top right button. Check out that awesome video first. So for today's workshop, we have to add a new view. The staff master list. There is only two info needed, the staff name and their home address. And then, we will add a new action in the office location detail view. Which the action is to search the staff that lives nearby the selected office. Whenever we click the action in the particular detail view, it will auto display those staff that live nearby. To accomplish this, actually, we are using the concept of the action that jumps to the current location function. The map actually display all the staff's home address. We just using the same concept to jump and zoom into the view of the selected location. Okay, let's start the workshop now. As mentioned, this workshop we need to add a new table. The staff master table. There are three columns in this table. First column, the record in. Always practice to include this column in your each table with the initial value of unique ID. Second column, the name column. Set it as name type. The last column, home address column. Set it as address type. Data is ready now, let's proceed to the user interface. First view, the staff master list. Set the view name as staff master, data source from staff master table. Set the view type as deck, and the position as center. Then set the primary header as name, and the secondary header as home address. The deck view display will be like this. Staff master view is ready. Let's proceed to the staff map. Set the view name as staff map, data source from staff master table. Set the view type as map, and the position as reference. Lastly, set the map column as home address. Next, the staff master detail view, this is optional. In this view, we may set the column order to just display the name and home address, like this. All right, all user interface is ready, let's proceed to the action. Create a new action, name it as staff nearby. Set the data source from map table and set the do this option as go to another view. and then set the target as shown. We use link to view function, set the parameter A as staff map. Then set the current latitude value and the current longitude value as location column. Lastly, you may set the zoom value, range from 0 to 20. Done, remember to save the changes. Bonus time. We have a faster way to create this action.
Remember the previous video, we have create a jump to current location action? We may duplicate that action by copying, and then amend the target from there. Like this. It is very easy, right? Alright, we have complete our workshop today. And gently remind, don't forget to save your project. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Always leave me a comment if you need any help. Stay strong, stay safe, and have a nice day. See you guys in the next video. Bye.